بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہے ویڈ ٹوڈے ایسرٹن چینج اف ٹاپک اوکے آئی نو وی آر گیٹنگ بورڈ ویڈ دس بولین الجبرا تنگ اگین اینڈ اگین بٹ وی ہیو ٹو فنش ایٹ آل دیس ٹاپکس وی ہیو ٹو کور سم ہاؤ ریلیٹڈ ٹو دیس اینڈ اور اینڈ ناٹ آپریشنز بٹ ٹوڈے دا بیسکس اف دا بولین الجبرا وی آر ڈن وی ڈن ویڈ دا بیسکس So uh, after this, we have the Karno maps, which will again relate in some way uh, and then other topics in one way or the other. But today we have a little change. We discuss, num- we start discussing the number systems today. Okay. What do we discuss? The number systems. This is an introduction to the number systems, all right? So the basic definition of the number systems, let me take the colors. What does a number system do? Number systems define a set of values used to represent a quantity number systems define a set of values used to represent a quantity what does this mean now represent a quantity so let the quantity be length of this board or width of this board let's say So if I'm measuring the width, so what do I need for this? I need numbers. I need numbers. I take a measuring tape. I put it over here. It gives me the length. What is that? It is a certain number. Let's say the length of this board is four feet. But this four feet is in a certain number system. We have different number systems. Uh, this may be seven feet in any other system so we discuss those different number systems okay and then we will in the upcoming lectures we will be seeing their interconversions all right so uh, let me write down some uh, most widely used number systems we have the uh, decimal number system the binary hexadecimal octal these four are most widely used we have others and other thing to discuss is what is a base or it is also called a radix so what is a base or a radix so this base this is denoted by a small r Okay, this denotes, this radix denotes the number of distinct digits in a number system. This radix denotes how many digits do we have in this system, okay? For example, for the decimal the base is 10 which means we have 10 different digits in the binary this base is 2 which means we have two different digits for hexadecimal it's 16 for octal it is 8 all right now what are these digits now so that we so we, we describe we start from a zero we start from a zero, all right? Then we increment by one, increment by one, and till what? Till the r minus one value arrives. We, we understand this. How is that? For example, for the decimal system, we have, uh, we start from a zero, we increment by one, one, two, up to what r minus 1 so r minus 1 
a 10 minus 1 is a 9, so we go to a 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the 10 distinct digits in the binary in the decimal number system. For binary, the base is 2. So we have 2 minus 1 is a 1. So the two distinct digits in the binary number system, let me write them here. This, this is written over here, that's fine. So for but for the binary we have a zero and a one these two digits. For hexadecimal, sixteen minus one is fifteen. So we go up to fifteen, but but that is not the simple. We go up to nine as it is. Then ten is represented by a, eleven by b, twelve by c, thirteen d, fourteen e, and fifteen is represented by f. All right, this is a rule, okay? And the octal number system, eight minus one is a seven, so we go from zero to seven. All right, and let me write the, this over here as well, so that we don't confuse it. Then, all right, and how do we find it? By this formula, which means that a 10 minus 1 is a 9, so we go to 9. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we go 0 and 1. 16 minus 1 is 15, so we have up to 15. And then 8 minus 1 is a 7, so we have till 7. All right, this A represents what? This A represents 10, B represents 11, C 12, D 13. E 14 and F represents 15. So these are the basic number systems most widely used 1, 2, 3 and 4. All right. Now we have a definition of uh, weighted and unweighted systems. Weighted and unweighted system uh, or before that uh, let me explain something else first we go through the we explain that through an example, okay? So let me remove this first All right All right so in the example of the book, let's say we have a number 7392, 7392, this is 7392, so can I write it as 7000 plus uh, 300 plus 90 plus 2, is that fine? Now this is the unit, the 2 is a unit. This 9 is in the tens, this 3 is in the thousands value, uh, in the hundreds, and 7 in the thousands. So I can write them as a sum of their weights, which means, can I write it as this? 7 into 10 raised to the power 3, plus 3 into 10 raised to the power 2, plus 9 into 10 raised to the power 1, and plus 2 into 10 raised to the power 3. Which means these are the weights. I write them as a sum of their weights. 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 2 and 3, these are the weights of each and every position. So we have weighted and unweighted. Such systems where we have these proper weights for each digit in a number, that system is called a weighted number system. Weighted and the other is unweighted. So the systems that we wrote here are all uh, weighted. For example, the decimal system, for example, the binary, and etc. etc. Where each each digit has its own weight. Whereas if each digit in this whole figure does not have a proper weight, that system is known as the unweighted system. For example, we will be discussing the access 3 core. Other examples may include 
gray code, which is probably not included in our course, but these are uh, maybe two examples of this unweighted system where we do not have a proper weight for each and every digit, like here in the 7392 has. All right, next is what? Okay, uh, base and number, okay. So let's say we, uh, we define a number, we define a number in two different number systems. We define a number in two different number systems. If R1 is base of system 1 and N1 is the number of digits, total number of digits to represent that number in the system 1 okay and similarly R2 is base of system 2 and N2 is the number of digits to represent that in system 2 so if the base is less if base is less, let's say R1 is less than R2, so the number of digits would be greater for the lesser base, which means N1 would be greater than N2 here. The base and the number, total number, are inversely proportional to each other. If the base of the number system is less, the number of digits used to uh, represent the same number in any other system would be greater. <clears throat> we take an example. The same example, 7, 3, 9, 2. It is in the decimal number system, the most widely used, the 10. So if I write it in binary, in binary it is a 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let me check. I've written it down for myself. Uh, yes, we are, but we have a three ones over here. Okay. So let's say R1 is R2 and R2 is 10. R1 is less than R2. So N1 would be greater than N2 and you can see here that the number of digits in this system 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 is greater than what? 7, 3, 9, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is okay. 2 is less than 10, but 13 is way greater than 4. If, if we have the same number 7, 3, 9, 2, convert it to the octal so this is 16340 in the octal which means a base hit don't worry about these conversions we'll be seeing them okay this is just to explain the, this thing all right so again the base over here is less the base is less so the number of digits required to represent the quantity are greater here we have four here we have five all right the same number. Uh, I I believe I don't need I don't need to write down that R one is eight and R two is this, so this is less and that. If the base is less, so total number of digits required to represent the same number is higher. That would be more clear, I believe. But again. If we have the same number again, 7392 in decimal, and if we convert it to the base 16, so we get 1CE0. This is in base 16. Now the bases, have a look. The bases are not equal. But the number of digits are equal. Which means that this N1 may not strictly be equal greater than N2. In some cases, we can have if R1 is less than R2, as in this case, so we can have in some cases 
that the number of digits in N1 is greater than or equal to N2 for some cases. This is not strictly greater, okay? For some cases, we can have it as greater than or equal to N2. So, I believe that is an, a basic introduction. From the next lectures, we uh, start discussing each uh, each number system and we see their interconvergence, all right? How did I convert this base to this octal? How did I convert this decimal to octal and this decimal to this binary? Uh, so, we'll be seeing this interconvergence. You will be able to do it in uh, yourself. These are easy, inshallah. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.